Hey YouTube, welcome back to another History Teacher Reacts video. Mr. Terry as I continue my search for historical knowledge found here on the internet. All right, today's video, we're looking at the real issues. All right, does the United States have a plan for the inevitable zombie apocalypse? Now, this is what you guys on Patreon wanted to see because you voted on this video this week, and that is USA Military actually has a zombie plan. This is it, Con Plan 888. Eight eight. This is by the Infographic Show, one of my favorite channels um, on the on uh, all of YouTube. Anyway, so this sounds interesting. Now, is it historical? I don't know. I guess we need to or need to find out if this has like when this came around. Does it have anything to do with you know this kind of stuff? Usually in my mind, I think of like Cold War era, like trying to hypothesize the many different ways that some enemy of the United States at the Soviet Union could attack the United States. There's some chemical attack that kills people and raises them as zombies or something like that. I'll believe about anything that comes out of the Cold War when it comes to plans and ideas and and like uh, um, conspiracies out there because there sure was a lot. But anyways, I think this might just be just kind of fun to check out. Now, the original video link is down below. Make sure you support the Infographics channel. You probably know about them, but you may not be subbed to them, actually. You've just seen a lot of their videos. But they do a lot of cool stuff um, and a lot of historical stuff, which is cool. Again, thanks to all the patrons that have been supporting this channel. Um, you guys just, with your contributions just keep a nice steady um uh support of the channel which i really do appreciate if you want to get involved links down below it starts a dollar a month if you want you get involved you can get some uh um, perks on discord you can get some perks you know like uh, being able to vote on videos and there's other gifts and stuff too if you feel like it but anyway uh let's go ahead and get started okay i'm a little afraid i need to prepare better for this we gotta militarize i mean i this this could get bad so let's get our helmets on everybody all right, what's the plan for the zombies? Oh gosh, here we go. You wake up one day and groggily rub the sleep out of your eyes. After a few moments, you're yep. alert enough to reach for your phone. Time to catch up on all the messages and Instagram likes and Facebook posts you missed during your sleep. Pretty Except much. Except your phone's not working. You oh, have no. no service, and oh, no. that should be impossible because you recently ditched T-Mobile. Shrugging, no. you reach for your laptop and flip it open. Double. This, this, is, this is an actually an ad by. Um, AT&T or something. Firefox because Safari and Chrome are trash browsers. Oddly, Firefox refuses to load. You check your laptop. Are people using Firefox again? It seems like so 10 years ago. Connectivity anyway. and sure enough, no service again. Oh, Weird, no. you think to yourself. No Wi-Fi, you no cell phone. And check on your desktop, which also oh, has snap. no internet connection. Okay, so. Now, edging to a full-blown hmm. first world panic, you head downstairs to make sure mom paid the internet. So all those times bill. I lose my internet at zombies? In the kitchen, aimlessly mixing something. You can't quite tell what it is because she has her back turned to you, but you think you hear her slightly groaning? Oh, Hesitantly, you call out to your She's mother, turned. whose body suddenly jerks She's as she turned. turns around slowly, moving very, very stiffly. As she turns to face you, you're horrified to see her dead eyes staring at you. And with a growl of brains, she leaves <laughs> for you. You make a run for it, rushing outside and fleeing for your life. But the neighbors spot you and take off running after you too. In seconds, you're being chased by a mob of zombified relatives and neighbors, and they're almost upon you when you turn the corner and suddenly hear, Get down! Instinctively, you duck down, and in front of you, a military patrol in Humvees opens up 50 caliber machine guns, chewing the zombies to pieces. I, I feel like if, if this happened so far, we would have, you would have had like the... Uh... Kind of like Amber, Amber Alert style systems. They have those emergency systems that can come on your phone about these things happening. It seems like it would be confusing if this just happened, especially just, I don't know, this is, they're just, you know, messing around here, but just like all of a sudden this happened. You know what I mean? But all right. Okay. I'm following. We all following here. Overhead, you hear the roar of jets oh. as 500 pound bombs are being Pew. dropped all over your former suburban neighborhood. Welcome to the zombie apocalypse. The previous oh, scenario has been a staple of science fiction for decades, and stories of zombie apocalypses have thrilled and terrified generations sure. of humanity. Yet, for the United States military, the zombie apocalypse is no laughing matter, and they have a plan to stop it dead Kay. in its tracks. Pun fully intended. Okay, let's take some you know predictions. What is the zombie plan? I have no idea. Is it is it quarantine? And then... I don't know. Light them all up. Contingency plan 8888. 
The United States military where, where regularly get that creates from? think tanks whose jobs are to envision future conflicts Dude, there's people or who think disaster about this scenarios stuff and are paid and to then think draw about it. Military and civil responses to address these threats. Throughout the years, American war planners have created plans for everything from nuclear war with the Soviet Union to an enemy invasion of the U.S. mainland to responding to a massive asteroid or comet strike yeah, on planet Earth. For sure. Incredibly, the U.S. military also has several contingency plans to combat an alien invasion, and that's no joke. These plans are highly secretive, as hmm. are the other contingency plans, and present military options to combat a variety of different alien invasion scenarios, at least to the best as our limited technology allows. Yep. You wonder how hard this would be. Like, <laughs> this has been handled so much by TV and video games and movies. You have so many different things you could go off. You just take the, well, hey, this sounds like a good idea. This sounds like a good idea. Put it into a plan, right? Just do some homework of media in the last, you know, 50 years. Yeah, one of these contingency plans is unclassified and has been public knowledge for years. That's Contingency Plan 8888. Originally, Con Plan 8888 was developed as a teaching tool for American military planners. It was meant to be a fun Man. exercise that introduced new war planners to the complexities of developing realistic response plans to a variety of contingencies. Because of the threat of war plans being made public, the instructors behind the original Con Plan 8888 exercises wanted to use a completely fictional scenario, rather than using realistic scenarios with real nations that could be misconstrued in the public eye as an actual war plan. Okay, because so it's the like they, they also made this with an idea of public relations in mind that's like, they're not like, hey, if the zombie the zombie apocalypse it could happen, and it's probably going to happen from Russia. And, you know, you want to avoid those sort of things. So military actually has realistic contingency plans to counter an alien invasion. It was decided that zombies presented the best option for developing a practice war plan to allow students to learn the ins and outs of military planning. However, I mean, they've you guys have noticed how the whole zombie genre has basically been hijacked, not in the classical like raising of the dead, but like disease right disease making people become aggressive of course i know that's different a zombie is supposed to be somebody right that died and came back to life right so i think they're already missing it. maybe we're just generalizing what a zombie is but anybody that's what become infected or some some way and has become aggressive towards other humans right and i think people have learned at that more about more because you learn so much about the how how very likely pandemics are i mean look at what, what's going on it's, this is 2021 middle of the corona panic um and people thinking, hey, what if these types of things ended up really affecting brain chemistry, making people aggressive and violent? And then you get something. And I think pe when people started thinking it that way, it's like, holy crap, this is not out of the realm of possibility. Not the old school. Not It's not thriller. You know, Michael Jackson video, people busting out through the graves and coming out and then dancing. But uh, no, like people getting infected of some kind of disease destroys their brain and then they become aggressive. However, just because Con Plan 8888 was developed as a teaching exercise and not taken very seriously does not mean that it's a credible and fully yeah, what's in it? plan. If zombies ever did kick off an apocalypse, Con Plan 8888 would be there to save the U.S. from extinction. So what does Con Plan 8888 involve? First, the plan addresses the threats from a variety of different types of zombies. First is the PZ, or pathogenic zombies. These are zombies who are created after a host is infected by a virus, bacteria, or other form of contagion. Next are RZs, sure. or radiation zombies. Okay. These are zombies created by extreme exposure to electromagnetic and or particle radiation. That, that's where, by the way, I was uh, hypothesizing about these type of plants maybe having roots in the Cold War, where... You know, the whole uh, radiation hysteria really began with World War II and the use of the atomic bombs in Japan. And that's where you get a lot of these kind of stories about radiation victims. Things Think old things like like the Godzilla origin stories where it was supposed to be like that. These lizards or whatever that are affected by um, atomic bomb testing and then it turns them large and violent and all that. And uh, so that's where, you know, I always thought this kind of stuff came from. And then you start thinking about um, pathogens, like they're saying here, and that could be, you know, a reality too. Maybe a lot of people would think that would be more than the radiation. Why would a radiation create this aggressive thing? Maybe it could. I mean, we see it with uh, um, people that have traumatic brain injuries or something like that. If it affects that, that it it can affect their their um, um, it, it, they could become more um, aggressive.
or something like that later on as your brain's trying to protect itself. These are evil magic zombies, or zombies created by an evil occult force. Yeah, that, okay, now, now, now we're bringing up the real ones. Wizard zombies, okay? These zombies are zombie life forms that originate from outer space, or created by the toxic contamination of the Earth's environment by an extraterrestrial source. WZs, or weaponized zombies, oh, are zombies snap. that have been developed in a lab somewhere to be used as military weapon, okay. perhaps deployed by a foreign adversary. We've seen that SITs all the time, pop are culture. symbiont-induced zombies, or zombies who are created by the introduction of a symbiont life form into a healthy host. Brain the slugs. symbiont keeps the host alive, but acting as its personal puppet. VZs, or vegetarian zombies, are zombies who do not feed on flesh. Human or otherwise, so we ain't got to worry about them. Who feed on plant life? We ain't got to worry about them. From the Plants vs. Zombies series of video games, these zombies pose just as great a threat to humanity due to their appetite for vegetation, which can cause massive deforestation and the destruction of food crops. <laughs> Lastly, the plan addressed the threat posed by CZs or chicken oh, zombies, which are the only type of zombie that actually exists. These zombies are produced when chickens are improperly euthanized with carbon monoxide and left in a pile of bodies, only for the still living chicken to crawl its way out of the pile and walk around until organ failure kills it. Next, the plan moves what? on to discuss the effect of environment on both zombies what? and surviving human population. It notes that, that pathogenic zombies will be vulnerable to ultraviolet light thanks to the UV light's ability to impair the function of RNA, which comprises most viral life forms. Thanks to this sensitivity, pathogenic zombies are not expected to be active during noon or in bright sunny conditions, <laughs> and will likely be active at night. Evil Good magic zombies, space zombies, vegetarian zombies, and weaponized zombies are believed to be immune to any extreme meteorological phenomenon except for fires, floods, tornadoes, or tsunamis. <laughs> For human survivors, we know any the of this? plan stresses the need for rainwater conservation, seeing as most public True. services will no longer be working. True. Also, groundwater or stream and river water is not recommended for drinking, infected. as it will be unknown if it will be Okay, infected. so this, this is the point of the video where they're giving us the plan, so I hope we're all taking notes here. This could, this could save your life, okay? Capture the rainwater. Don't drink the natural moving waters like rivers. Zombie okay, infection. good. Humans who don't shelter in place in locations that protect from direct effect of air currents also run the risk of zombie infection if pathogen or zombification source is airborne. From here, the plan moves on to five phases of a response to a zombie outbreak. I mean, everything so far seems like common sense, right? That's the stuff I want to hear about. Upon news of the dead rising from their graves, or evil wizards creating zombie hordes, the U.S. military will initiate Phase Zero of Con Plan 8888. Oh, the shoot. phase is also called Shape the Environment, and will focus on giving U.S. warfighters as great warning time and strategic advantage against the zombie hordes as possible. Military and civil agencies will monitor disease vectors for possible zombification, identifying any ways that infection can spread, and taking precautionary measures. With constant monitoring, the U.S. military will be ready once the outbreak reaches critical levels, or is unleashed in full inside North America. All military okay. forces will engage in renewed hazmat training as well as nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare right, training, right, right. already a routine part of U.S. military training. Phase 1, deterrence, will begin upon receipt of a WARN ORD or a warning order by U.S. Strategic Command. In a normal war plan, this phase of planning involves displays of military power so that foreign adversaries are deterred from hostile action. Because okay. zombies cannot be reasoned with or intimidated, however, other forces which could further spread a zombie plague or aid in a zombie apocalypse, such as terrorist groups, adversary nations, and unethical bioresearch companies are targeted instead. Fa Do you think if something like this happened and it was like a global phenomenon do you think the uh, international community would work pretty well together or do you think it would be like the opposite what do you think let me know in the comments Phase one will see the u.s military initiate large-scale training meant to show any would-be human collaborators that the u.s military can still operate within a toxic AKs. And contaminated environment Are they Russians? hopefully deterring evil bio research companies or terrorists from aiding the zombie apocalypse. Phase two, seize the initiative, will begin upon receipt of an alert order by US Strategic Command. This will immediately initiate a complete recall of all military and reserve personnel, and okay. the immediate implementation of all continuity yep. of operations mobilize. or co-op plans as they're known are meant to ensure that no matter what happens, all of the major military commands 
are able to continue functioning as well as the civilian government. Right. The plan will deploy all ground, naval, and airborne command and control nodes, with preparations to remain deployed for at minimum 35 days. This will ensure that the U.S. military remains in control of its forces no matter what happens next. U.S. Okay. Strategic Command will reach out to potential adversary Dude, nations such eyes. as Russia and China and inform them of no preparation for the counter zombie, zombie operations, conducting confidence-building measures to ensure these nations don't believe the mobilization is using the zombie threat right. as a cover for military action against that, their That's what I was wondering about international community, if it would just become too, like, suspicious of each other. You know, whether it's blaming the other countries for it or, again, like they're saying here, uh, making it seem like this mobilization effort or whatever is actually, like, fake, you know, to, to, to do something aggressive um, to another nation. The U.S. Air Force's Global Strike Command, in conjunction with assets from other services, will immediately generate forces for strike missions against zombie horde concentrations, not just here in the U.S., but abroad. The rest of the U.S. military will oh, immediately begin them. fortifying civilian defense zones oh, and enforcing okay. quarantines where applicable. Phase 3. Dominance will initiate a massive American military response against yep. the zombie threat. Light them up. operations must be swift and completely eradicate zombie concentrations, as even a lone survivor can reignite a zombie outbreak. Cities and they other major brains. population centers may need to be indefinitely blockaded by military forces while the civilians are relocated to more remote areas. Phase 4. Stabilization will begin no earlier than at least 40 days after the initiation of Phase 3 operations. U.S. military forces will begin initiating local reconnaissance operations in order to determine the strength of surviving zombie forces. They will also locate isolated pockets of survivors and shepherd them to secure areas, as well as survey the status of basic civil services Save the hipsters. power, water, sewage, and lines of communication. Recon forces will also conduct surveys of the epidemiological security right. of the local environment ascertaining if a lingering zombie infection threat is still remaining. Phase 5 normalization will see U.S. We military will forces rebuild. aid in the reestablishment of civil authority. Commercial and civilian infrastructure will be repaired as best as possible, and the restoration of functioning civil services will yeah. be a top priority. Con Plan 8888 aims to prepare the U.S. Okay. military to stop a zombie apocalypse dead in its tracks and highlights the specific actions that local forces need to take in order to ensure their survival and the continued ability to fight back against the zombie hordes. The plan does highlight some current strategic limitations, however, such as a lack of dedicated counter-zombie military task force. There's also the difficulty in ensuring... Well, just your whole National true. Guard, right? You have your whole military. I mean, if you're talking about the United States, the United States is the biggest military in the world, so that should be an issue, right? Plus National Guards and... Plus, let's remember, we're an armed country in the United States. Um, every, Basically, the whole population is an army, at least an armed, uh, armed army with a lot of people that have had basic um, firearm training and stuff like that. I mean, let's be honest. There are people in the United States that fantasize, absolutely fantasize about this being a reality because they think it would be fun in some way. <laughs> right? It, 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 yeah. You can't lie to me otherwise, all right? You see it. You probably know people that are these people neutralized, though the plan does recommend that military forces burn all the bodies thoroughly. Other strategic limitations include the inability to maintain airborne command posts in the air past Why? a week. This is because while in-flight refueling could keep airborne command posts operational for a month or perhaps even more if needed, the airfields that support the tankers, which would fuel these aircraft, would likely be overrun by zombies very quickly. There are also serious defensive deficiencies for many of the nation's ground-based command and control nodes, as few command and control nodes within the United States are hardened facilities capable of withstanding a relentless horde of zombies. Con Plan 8888 recommends okay. that facilities maintain a stockpile of lumber and train their personnel how to weld so they can better secure their facilities against outside intrusion. Lastly, the plan warns that there is little useful scientific data to be used by the U.S. military to counter a zombie threat, and war planners really? may need to turn to popular media for inspiration. Yeah, that's, was, yeah, that's what I was saying dead. at the beginning. Like, this has been addressed. There's, so, there's been so many ideas about what this response should look like, what it would look like in different scenarios. There's plenty of uh, uh, people that have already thought of this. 
There's also a dire warning within Con Plan 8888 that of all the different types of zombies that the US military may have to face, evil magic zombies may prove to be the most difficult oh, to defeat, yeah, for as sure. they're animated by evil magic. Oh, the plan yeah. suggests the recruitment of the Chaplain Corps to combat <laughs> this threat. Do you think any plan could really stop a zombie apocalypse? What type of zombie would you be most afraid of? Let us know in the comments, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great content before the zombies eat all our brains. You wake. You ready for the apocalypse? Let's talk about it. All right. Seems a lot of basic planning there. <laughs> We're talking. <laughs> We're talking about a zombie apocalypse here on the Mr. Terry History Channel. We've done it. We've we've come we've come to this point right now. Amazing. Blows my mind. Anyway, we might as well talk about it, right? If this is gonna become future history. So, you know, obviously I I, I think it and they even noticed this, it depends so much on what type of zombies are there. I mean, you saw at the beginning of the video they talked about all the different types of zombies that can happen and of course, everything's contingent on that. You know, it could be a very, from a mild nuisance to, yeah, being a global issue that is almost impossible to stop and your plans come back any way through that. But like I said a few minutes ago, it seems like society has almost become prepared from this with how much this type of scenario has been ingrained and just portrayed in media over the last you know, two generations, pretty much. And then, you you know, when you have these nations like the United States where I live, where um, you have the, the right to bear arms, everybody has guns and is preparing. And like we said, there's people, I think, that fantasize about this stuff. They'd love to be the person who has to defend their family against the zombie apocalypse and <laughs> fantasize about it. But, yeah, it's interesting that you, I get just that you have these types of ideas that are in there. And it shows how, you know, militaries have... They, they try to plan for everything, and a lot of this stuff has been talked about. There's people that are paid and have been paid forever to deal with this kind of stuff. Think of stuff that we haven't even thought of yet. Even if it's on the fringe of potentiality, it's like have a plan of some kind. And it'd be interesting to see what this looks like. And, I mean, they, they said there was still a lot of uh, vague nature of it. But interesting to, to compare these against other countries, too, and other types of threats just to see what's out there. And does it really need to be like a top secret thing here? Or is this something actually you could find in public records? Because, um, yeah, I didn't really talk much about the historical origins of it, Did ha if it did have origins in any specific thing. Or is there been something like this of some, I don't know, uh, in history? So interesting to look at that. Anyways, I guess this video is just kind of a lot of fun just to, to think about. I know it's big in pop culture, so I don't know. Let, let me know what you think about any of this. What uh, what are the type of zombies we need to be afraid of? What are the type of zombies that seem most likely if it was to happen? What do you think the response would be? I asked you earlier, what do you think international cooperation would be like? Do you think it would be pretty positive? Do you think it would be um, also just another issue and make it even worse. I don't know. I guess there's a lot of stuff to talk about it. Do you know anybody that takes this stuff super seriously? Who are those people? Are you one of them? I guess we can get talking about that. <laughs> Feel free to leave a comment down below. All right, we'll go ahead and wrap up here. Thanks again to the patrons for voting on this video. Links to some other stuff, Discord, Teespring, my gaming channel. Maybe you'll uh, come across me playing one of these zombie video games or something like that. I tend to play some of that stuff too. So anyway, all right, we'll catch you next time. Stay safe out there brains.